Hello and welcome to Neo Films Tutorials. I'm Neo and today what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to add black and white effect to your video. It's pretty simple but it's very effective if that's the effect that you're going for. Now you can initially set those settings to black and white on your camera or afterwards you can you know process it through your uh, video editing software. I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro 6 and so let's get started okay first you're gonna to want to start with your with your video so here I have a simple video and I'm going to turn it from full color to black and white there's a couple ways that you can achieve that first we're gonna start with um, with a video effect go into your video effects library go to color correction and we are going to turn this into black and white using the fast color corrector first. Now this is the long way and um, the more complicated of the two. So I'll show you that one first. And what we're going to do is take this 100% saturation and we're not going to bring it up. You can bring those levels up and you can see what happens. It gets oversaturated with color what we're going to do is desaturate that color and bring all those color levels down to zero that leaves you with black and white now there's more you can add to that um, but for now that's how you use that so let's delete that and let's move on to the fast and easy preferred way is the tint plugin it's right there second to the last and what you want to do is apply that and you don't have to do any more to it it already has uh, the black and white levels it maps automatically to that now just for reference you can you can change any colors that you wish so you can have one one color be you know black and change the second tone to blue you know or let's say to red you know really you can use this effect in many different ways it's, you know you can change it to green it's really cool effects um, they, they come in handy if you're shooting a music video if you're shooting you know anything um, but we're right now we're using black and white and going for that kind of that film noir look so if we want it now that looks okay but we can make it look even better so we want to go to color correction again and we're going to add a curves adjustment with this curves adjustment it's going to bring up, we we'll go to the master bring up those levels of um, kind of bring up those those mid tones more darker and more brighter and it kind of looks a little unbalanced with the color a little bit too bright, kind of like kind of like that key light look. That's that's really that they use in, in old old fashioned films, and even more so in the noir films. Now, it looks a little bit too too high def, so we're gonna add a little bit of noise to that. And by adding noise, it's gonna give it that grainy effect. And we can bring that up not too much you know just enough mm. right about there right about level 12 and there you have it and you can render it so there you have it if that was helpful to you um, please leave a comment questions I'd love to discuss uh, film editing with you um, and look for more tutorials coming soon um, from green screen to to uh, 3D to 3D extrusions and After Effects and all kinds of stuff, Photoshop, um, professional flyers and stuff like that. Um, so thank you and have a good day.